Hello there, this is your keto coach and mentor, Mary Elizabeth. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I hope you find some valuable content here and I am excited for you to come check this video out. Um, I would love if you like and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely appreciate it. Um, today we're gonna talk about how to order at a restaurant, um, how to order keto at a restaurant. You know, it's not as difficult as it may seem at first. Like anything, it's just time to get used to, get acclimated with how you wanna order your things because this is a lifestyle change, so every day that you make these little modifications, you know, it gets easier and easier every time. I know I, I know it does it, I promise you it will get better. I'm in the process of making a video and sharing my life story of what I've done with my ketogenic diet and um, how I've lost 145 pounds. And because of my weight loss and doing the, the keto diet, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I did, my tips and, and, and my tricks and my things that I know, not tricks, but you know, um, they call them hacks, but I did a very strict keto lifestyle and it's just, I've learned a lot, self-taught pretty much. And so um, I'm here to teach you as much as I possibly can because I want you to succeed. I want you to, to be as healthy as you possibly can and feel good about yourself, you know, because that, that does a lot for somebody. And so, um, Getting back to topic at hand, you know, just small modifications, you know, will make big changes along the way. Um, usually when I go into a restaurant, I, I usually order an appetizer and that's usually enough for me. Um, I go in with the mindset of not having, you know, a lot of this is mindset and I think we have to keep telling ourselves that until we get used to it, until it's a lifestyle where we're not even thinking about it, it's just an automatic what we're gonna order. Best tip I can give you, if you already know ahead of time which restaurant you're gonna go to, if it's a restaurant you've never been to, pull up the restaurant on your website. We have accessibility on our phones and on our computers and everywhere. Check out the restaurant before you go there. See what their menu's like. See if there's something that you can eat ketogenically on there, you know? Um, sometimes when you end up going to some place and there's not a whole lot of keto options or the, they don't cook keto ways, um, it kind of discourages you and you're just gonna, because you're already there, you're gonna order whatever you want. So just being prepared ahead of time will be absolutely fantastic. Um, I usually, like I said, I love my appetizers and um, usually the kind of appetizer I will get will be either buffalo wings um, or garlic parmesan wings, you know, and that's just how I do it. I don't get wings that are breaded, you know, because breading is not part of the ketogenic lifestyle. Um, and I did a very strict keto, so I'm coming from a very strict keto perspective. But of course, you know, my way isn't the only way. It's not only about strict keto. There's various ways of keto that you can go about it. And so I ate the cleanest I possibly could to get the results that I did in the amount of time that I did. Um, and if when you do order your wings, you make sure you get either your buffalo sauce um, or you can get ranch, you can get blue cheese um, or Dijon mustard. Those are the, the, the sauces of choice, you know, and, um, and they always come in these little containers, which, those containers are usually more than enough. It should usually be two tablespoons of any type of, um, of dressing that we consume anyhow. Just because it's keto doesn't mean you're gonna have all of it, you know, because that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna overeat regardless if it's a healthy or ketogenic uh, uh, healthy food, you know. You eat everything still in moderation. Um, another appetizer that you can get is just a side salad, you know. If you wanna have a side salad, have any type of salad that you want, you know, I just opt not to get the croutons. Garden salad, romaine, or leafy green salads are the best, um, minus the croutons, um, and always get your salads on the side. Um, again, ranch, blue cheese are fantastic. Um, oils and vinegars are great. Be aware, be wary of the some of the balsamics. Some of the balsamics do contain sugar, so I would rather just go with the, the sure bet as far as the ranch or the blue cheese. Um, or I like to carry my own packs of little MCT oil in my bag. You know, if I know I'm, I always have them in my purse because if we're gonna go out and have a salad, I bring my own, I love my MCT oil. It contains coconut oil. That's another option for you, you know, if that's something you wanna do. Um, spinach dips are great, minus the bread bowl. <laughs> and I know that's a difficult thing, you know, maybe the, another solution would be celery sticks, you know, using your um, spinach dip. Um, we're trying to avoid the bread as much as possible because when we're eating our breads, those are very high in carbs, which when we consume those, it spikes our insulin levels in our body. And then you're, you're changing your fuel source for your body from which you want ketones that come, you know, burn your body fat as fuel. You're now re, you're reintroducing the sugars into your body 
and it's going to start to run off of glucose, which is we, we don't want to do that. We want to run off of our own body fat. We want that to be used as fuel. Um, and entrees, I absolutely love burgers. I mean, I've been a burger girl my entire life, only now I either get it lettuce wrapped or I just get it on the side. And it's usually I'll get a bacon avocado burger, you know, um, and with a side salad, you know, um, again, minus the croutons and with your dressings on the side. Um, or you can offer asparagus as a side, Brussels sprouts as a side, um, and or the celery stalks or if you like. Um, it's just finding a way, making it work, you know, you just have to make it work. Um, don't order the fries, no matter if they're sweet potato fries or regular fries, you know, opt for the salad, opt for the Brussels sprouts, asparagus, cauliflower, broccoli. They have, some of these places have amazing um, cauliflower, Parmesan, uh, what do you call these? They're like cheeses, it just absolutely, uh, casseroles fantastic site especially if you live near a longhorn steakhouse they have the best parmesan uh, cauliflower on the planet it's amazing so that's another great suggestion and their serving sizes or side portions are actually pretty good you know there's it's an, the correct serving size um again chicken if you want to get chicken just don't get it breaded get it grilled um steaks um i don't like the steak sauces because they do contain sugar in them Steaks of choice for me, I love my ribeye steak. Um, it's mar The more marbleized, the better because it has the more healthier fat in there um, to help us with our lifestyle. Um, and it's just, I tend not to go over six ounces of a steak or a chicken. Four to six ounces is my maximum. Um, again, just because it's keto doesn't mean we're gonna overeat either because if we overeat a lot of these foods, then we're defeating the whole purpose. So kind of stick, stay true to your sizes as much as possible. Um, again, four to six ounces of a steak is fantastic. Chicken is great. Again, sides, no french fries as sides. Have your salads with the dressing on the side minus the croutons. You can have your asparagus, bro broccolis, cauliflowers, Brussels sprouts, things like that. Um, french onion soup is the great soup but just order it minus the bowl, you know. I know that's a difficult thing. Bread was a thing for me. I loved my bread, but you just learn to just do without, you know, and, there will, and I promise you there will be a time where you get used to eating like this. When you're doing it every day and it just becomes a, like I say, it just becomes a lifestyle. It gets easier every single time. Um, it will take time, you know. Some of us catch on quicker. Some of us, it's hard for us. Some of us will just do it when it's necessary. Um, but just be patient with the process. We have to remember that it took us a long time to gain the weight that we did. Being at 297 pounds, I didn't get that overnight. It took years and years and years and years, most of my life of bad food choices, of bad eating that got me to where I was. So it's gonna take a little time to get, you know, eat healthier, learn to eat. I didn't eat vegetables. I didn't eat broccolis and cauliflowers. I didn't even drink water, you know, so I had to learn how to eat all over again. Um, and I think once you decide you're gonna go into a restaurant or you're gonna go out to eat, that could be a scary thought for a lot of you because a lot of you already know how you are and you're maybe not comfortable just yet going to a restaurant and that's absolutely fine. But when you do go into a restaurant, I do recommend going in with the mindset of knowing you're not gonna have the chips, that you're not gonna order that bread basket, that you're gonna have water or unsweetened tea as a drink. Try to stay off of the alcoholic beverages because they're very carby, you know, and it's just uh, things that just take time, you know, and just be patient, just trust the process. Um, another suggestion for tacos, you know, I'll, I love chicken tacos, uh, carne asada tacos, I just don't get the tortilla. And my most favorite choice other than the steak will be either a steak fajita or a chicken fajita. It just depends if I want more protein on one day than I do the fats. Fajitas, you can never go wrong with your pico de gallo, your guacamole, or a side of avocado. I just won't get the tortillas that come with it because we can have the sour cream, we can have the pico, we can have the guac. All those are fine, I just don't get rice and beans with it. I completely leave that out. And if somebody at my table who's not keto dieting, I just give them the sides, they can have my sides, I won't have those. So those are just very few, very short video, don't wanna take up too much of your time. But those seem to be the quickest tips and these can go with any restaurant you go to. Mediterranean places have great um, steak uh, kebabs, chicken kebabs, those are fabulous. Um, just don't get the breads, you know, um, falafels and things like that, um, the gyros. You can get all of these without those and yes, it's not the same, but it's still you're eating healthy and trust me when I say this, 
you're not going to get into those food comas. You're not going to be hungry 30 minutes or sleepy 30 minutes after you eat because you're not eating those carbs via the breads and the croutons and things like that. So I hope this helps. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this. Um, let me know. Comments below. Any other way I can help or other video suggestions that you have. Um, I appreciate the subscriptions. I absolutely love you guys. Have a fabulous day. Take care. Bye.